Land, I'm the Trend Dude, and welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Trends. So I am back with a Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale haul. What could there be left to buy? Well, let me tell you. I went to the store totally expecting not to find anything except Winter Candy Apple and Vanilla Bean Noel, but lo and behold, they marked down more items to 75% off. They added more stuff and the soaps were an incredible price and I just found some real treasures. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. So most of this, <coughs> excuse me, most of this is soap, but I did pick up some body care soap. I picked up the raspberry chiffon, which I wasn't a fan of the first time that I smelled it, but this time I, that I smelled it, I really like it. It smells like raspberry ice cream. It smells less like raspberry ice cream when you put it on. It smells more like raspberry ice cream in the, in the tube. So we'll see how that works out. It's nice. So it's really pretty. Raspberry chiffon. So this was 75% off. Black raspberry iced pear whipped sugar. Then, you know they have those uh, little metal carts that they wheel around the store as they're restocking shelves? Well, peeking out on one of those carts was Happy Easter. And this is the perfect spring. If you hear steam coming up, that's what that is. It's steam coming up in my apartment. The perfect spring, although I think the wick looks like it's not centered. Look at that. I don't know. Mm, this might be one for the warmer. I'm a little bit concerned about that wick. So it smells really good. 75% off also makes everything smell better. So uh, <clears throat> happy Easter. This is, uh, I cannot tell you the scent notes because they don't put the scent notes on the one wicks. Why don't they do that? It smells just like a fresh, clean scent, like fresh, I don't say like fresh laundry, but like kind of like fresh laundry and flowers. Yeah. So I picked up Happy Easter, The Perfect Spring. Then... I got soaps. So let me just double check something before I tell you guys. Okay. So the soaps were 75% off. Now, why I thought they were going to be 250, I don't know. I think it's because I saw a lot. Of, I, I saw stuttering here. I saw a lot of seasonal soaps online for 250. And I just thought that that was 75% off. Don't know where I'm going with this. So when I saw the soaps, it wasn't a mad grab grab for soaps, but I did pick up a few and then after I picked up a few of the seasonal soaps, there was this little cubby hole, this little wall, right? And it had a cart in front of it and a sales associate restocking stuff on the other side. And I see this woman and she's grabbing soaps from the wall and she's filling up baskets with soap, like full with soap. And I asked, while she was doing that, I asked the sales associate gentleman, I said, is this soap 75% 75% off? And the woman says to me, girl, these soaps are like a dollar. You better grab them. And I was like, that can't be right. They can't be a dollar. Could they be a dollar? No. So they were spring scents, but like in, I guess, old packaging. So I picked up a handful. I take them to the register, $1.87. All the soaps that are marked $7.50 are $1.87. And the one soap that I picked up that was $2.12 was only because it was marked $8.50. So let me show you that one first. So I got 10 soaps. 
this soap here, Merry Cookie, and I guess this would be the equivalent of the faceted collection. This is marked 850, and that's why it was 212. It's the white barn version of Merry Cookie. Now, I thought this was golden sunflower when I first saw it. You would never know it was Merry Cookie. If you put this on your sink in the spring, I mean, cookies, you bake cookies all year round, don't you? So, Merry Cookie is just a staple. So even for 212, it was worth it. I had Merry Cookie in my collection and I gave it away as a Christmas gift. So I needed a new one. This is buttery shortbread, vanilla bourbon icing and spun sugar. So, so delicious for 212. Then let me show you the seasonal ones that are for fall. These were, these were all now $1.87. So I picked up... Where is the other one? I picked up two of the Marshmallow Fireside. I love this scent. This is one of my favorite scents by Bath & Body Works. I'm going to be doing a video um, soon, I hope, um, of my favorite, like my top five body care items. I don't think they ever made Marshmallow Fireside in a body care, but they made that Marshmallow Flurries or whatever that was that's kind of like this. But I'm going to be doing a top five all-time favorite Bath & Body Works body care. But in the meantime, let me show you this. Marshmallow Fireside. Such an amazing scent. Who does not like Marshmallow Fireside? This is toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and fire-roasted vanilla. To me, this is an all-year-round scent. It's so delicious. It's just, it's, it's like s'mores. It's s'mores. It's happiness in a bottle. So two of the Marshmallow Fireside. This was the first soap that I found on a 75% off table. It was all by itself. This is Lakeside Afternoon. So this is Sun Soaked Lavender, Dockside Breeze, and Fresh Rain. I wasn't blown away by this one, but it was the first 75% off soap I saw, so I grabbed it. It just, it doesn't smell like anything. It smells like, like something that would be called like, it smells like that coastal air soap that I picked up. It's like, it's kind of watery. It's kind of linen-y. It's just like fresh. So Lakeside Afternoon. Then I picked up another one. I have one of these that I got. Um, I exchanged a soap that I had in my collection that I didn't like. And I picked up one of these. Now I got another one. This is so delicious. So delicious. That's what they should just call it. So delicious. This is Iced Cinnamon Rolls. And I'm not a fan of super sweet sticky scents. But this one is so, so good. Cinnamon buns. It smells like cinnamon buns. So this is warm cinnamon rolls, fresh orange, and sugar glaze. I don't really smell any of the fresh orange. It just a little bit, a little bit. Like a um if it was like an orange meringue kind of smell. So cute, so pretty, so glad I got another one. I would have gotten two, but since I already have one, this was the second one, That's I think that's sufficient. Because you can only use but so much soap. Somebody asked me, how do you use all this soap? How, how could you possibly use all this soap, right? Because I'm one person. Unless you count my dog, then I'm one and a half people. Um, <clears throat> I bring the soap to work and I share it with my coworkers. I gift the soap. I give soap to my mom. I use soap in the bathroom, I use soap in the kitchen, I bring soap to work, I give soap away as gifts. I gave away the good majority of the soap that I had as Christmas gifts. And then I, I have them, I stock up and I give them out during the year. You never know when a birthday is gonna come around, an anniversary, a retirement, Valentine's Day is coming up, Mother's Day, you know, all these different holidays. Father's Day, even though my father's 
deceased. But, you know, all these holidays come up during the year. You stock up at the semi-annual sale and then you use it throughout the year. Who, you know, this is the best time. $1.87, how are you going to top that? I think that's the cheapest that you're going to get it for. So then I have these soaps that were in that little uh, cubby section that are like spring soaps. So this is a staple, Honolulu Sun. It's one of my favorite all-time scents from Bath & Body Works. Look at the beautiful packaging with the gold. This is Fresh Island Coconut, Pacific Palm, and Driftwood. This is like a perfect summer, summer scent. Oh, I love Honolulu Sun. This, of all the coconut scents that they do, Honolulu Sun is just the best. Then I picked up a Island Papaya. The label is a little messed up there. Island Papaya. This is Tropical Coconut, Fresh Papaya, and Sugar Cane. When I smelled it in the store, it didn't really smell very sweet. No, it smells good. You can definitely smell the papaya, but it's not overwhelming. I don't smell any coconut in there. So Island Papaya. Watermelon Lemonade, only because the packaging is so gorgeous. I mean, I like Watermelon Lemonade, but, you know, it's great for the summer. It's a wonderful summer scent. It's around all the time, but that packaging, so, so pretty. This is Watermelon Ice, Sparkling Water, and Meyer Lemon. Does anybody not know what Watermelon Lemonade smells like? I think we all do. I don't have I don't have any in my collection at the moment. I have no, I mean in the soap form. I don't have any watermelon lemonade soap except this one. So so pretty. I know I've bought it before. A lot of these soaps I've I've bought in the past and I just I gift them before I get a chance to use them and then I have to end up buying them again. This one is White Waves. This is sea spray, white peony, and salted amber. I don't even know if I smelled this one in the store. It smells like cologne. It smells straight up like a sexy man. So this, white waves, if I didn't use it, this would be a perfect gift for a man. Oh, smells like a sexy man. It really does. Sea Spray, White Peony, and Salted Amber. And then finally, one that I just, I really like the packaging and the color. But it kind of reminds me of Coconut Lime Verbena. The uh, Sea Salt and Lime. You think it would smell like Island Margarita. I almost said you think it would taste like Island Margarita. You think it would smell like Island Margarita. Sea Salt and Lime, Chilled Lime, Fresh Eucalyptus, and Sea Salt. So, this one is not so bad. It kind of smells like a lemon lime icy. Coconut lime verbena and a lot of the lime soaps, lime soaps that they put out, smell like a dirty dish rag. Except for Island Margarita. Coconut lime verbena, horrible. This, you kind of, you... A little bit of the dirty dish rag smell, but mostly like a lime icy. That and it has like a, a freshness to it too. I know it's I I said that I, just a moment ago. I smell like said it smelled like a dirty dish rag, but no, no. I, I just I because it looks like coconut lime verbena. I'm kind of like making it smell like coconut lime verbena in my mind, but it does smell like fresh air. And like a, a lemon, a lime icy. So this one is a really nice summer spring scent. I can't wait to use this one. Sea salt and lime. That's the problem with these soaps. You pick them up. I pick them up. I get them for this price, the dollar eighty seven. And then, you know, birthdays and holidays come up, and I end up giving them away. And then I never get to see or smell what they smell like. So. I hopefully will be able to get to use these and smell them and enjoy them. So I picked up 10 soaps 
Like I said, all of them being $1.87 with the exception of Mary Cookie, which was $2.12 only because that's marked $8.50. And all of the other soaps are marked $7.50. I don't know. They're not fitting in the bag now. <laughs> they fit in the bag so perfect before. And the Raspberry Chiffon and the Perfect Spring. So that is the end of my haul. And yeah. Oh, let me tell you the, the price, the prices. So the total, they charge me for the bags. I had them double the bag. If you don't live in New York, I don't know what state you live in, but we have a bag tax. So they charge you five cents for the bags, five, five cents each. So 10 soaps, a single wick candle and a body cream came out to $28.89. I purchased 14 items. That's $28.89 with the tax, $26.54 before tax, and I saved $79.56. So now the only other thing that I have coming to me is the online order that I placed with the candles and the soaps that were $2.50. Uh, I used a $10 off a of 40 coupon, but it doesn't really matter because the tax and the shipping always eats up the $10 off. So you don't really get that much of a discount. And the soaps that I ordered online were primarily seasonal soaps. Here I got a good mix of summer and spring. Also, uh, let me tell you guys that I got <laughs> just when I got home and I said to myself, Okay, I'm done. I'm not buying anything else. Like today, I would have just, I seriously would have just gotten this. I was just going to get this. And then I saw this. If I hadn't seen like all this soap craziness, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have gone overboard. But anyway, so just when I said, I'm, I'm done, done, right? I come home and what's in the mail? The Gingham Love Coupons. Now, lately, I've been getting two sets of coupons, one for me and one for some unknown person that they think lives with me. Um, anyway, the Love, Gingham Love coupons. So, don't want to show my address. The coupon set, here's what the Gingham Love looks like. The coupon set that I got, because everybody, not everybody, but... People get different sets of coupons, depending, I guess, on how much you spend or where you live. I don't know. But my coupons say free fragrance, free wallflower fragrance refill. So maybe I'll try the Gingham Love. And then 20% off your entire purchase. I'm interested in trying that brunch collection. I know that uh, Tina Marie has been raving about that pear creme brulee. Um, so I want to see what that collection is about. I don't need anything else. So remember to comment, read, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense, and I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.